Hi, I'm Elise. My life isn't exactly what you'd call ordinary. At least, probably not to you. I'm an elytri. We are beings that form in groups, coveys, and live in the clouds. But I think I'd give pretty much anything to live on Earth. Elise! Elise! Time for breakfast! Your rainbows are gonna get cold! <sighs> Elise, Dewdrop, please get your head out of the clouds. And please stop daydreaming. You're going to be late for intermediate lessons on nature. Come on, it's time to go. You're not gonna have enough time to eat breakfast. That's my mom, Narara. She's kind and loving, but doesn't really understand me. You see, no matter how much I want to go to Earth, I can't. Elise! Come on! I don't want to be late! Hurry it up! And that's Alaya. She's great and all, but she's such a rule follower. Anyway, I should go before she, um... Well... explodes um yeah we all have some sort of power and well she explodes when angry my mom teleports i however don't have any powers that's why i think i feel a pull towards earth because no matter how hard i try i'll never fit in here <sighs> morning mom morning alaya oh good you're up morning sunshine how are you on this gorgeous dewdrop day Ugh, I'm so tired. I didn't sleep very well at all. <gasps> Elise, come on! We are going to miss the dawn breeze! Hurry it up! Okay, okay, I'm coming. But what about breakfast? You should have thought of that before you wasted all of your time staring off into space. Let's go. I'm not going to wait a single second for you. Fine, let's go. Hi, Skyla. Thanks for saving me a seat. Totally. So, Elise, how are you doing? And this is Skyla. She's been my best friend as long as I can remember. She's also kind of a stickler for the rules, but she never really discourages me about my dreams. I'm really lucky to have her. So, are you ready for the rainbow-making assessment? Not exactly. I just don't understand why they expect us to turn three colors into six. Like, can't we just buy pre-made rainbow droplets at the market? I'm just not ready for this test. Ugh. Well, it is helpful if you want to work in the rainbow department. I guess... Got to get to my lessons. See you later, Elise. Bye, Skyla. So, class, this is why Earth is an inhabitable place for us elytries. But what would happen if, you know, one of us did go to Earth? Theoretically speaking, if it even were possible, great dangers would come to you. You would lose all of your memory of elytra land, and your body would slowly transform into Earthling form to a point where you'll never be able to return. So, has anyone ever been to Earth? Only a few, and those who have were never seen again. Earth is no place for us. Be sure to remember that. But what if someone... That's enough questions for today. Now let's rejoin our lecture. So as I was saying, the air quality has increasingly become... I know more Earth more is dangerous, to but I just can't help wondering what it'd be like to be there. Free from this. Free from my freakness. Free from being an elytri. If only.